Hello and welcome back to my channel. My name is Melissa if you're new here and um, my channel is all about my reselling journey. I just started in February and it has been so much fun ever since I started and I wanted to bring you guys along with me and tell you about you know my hits and my misses and the things that I'm learning about and <clears throat> um, thing, things that I've learned from other people and things you know just that I'm kind of figuring out on my own and uh, I have to say this is you know aside from recreational type stuff this is the funnest thing I've done to try and earn money in my whole entire <clears throat> you know adult life I'm 50 so I've been working for a very long time 35 years something like that I started work when I was 16 and of course I took some time off to take care of my babies, but you know, this is the funnest thing that I've done so far. I love it. So I'm glad that I get to take you guys along with me. I'm going to try and keep this short today. My videos are usually pretty long winded and it's late and it's been a long weekend and I'm just not even the weekend. It's been a long couple days and it's hot and I'm tired and I'm ready to go to bed. But anyways, <clears throat> yesterday, it was my very best day ever that I've ever had, and I'm so excited about that. Um, and I think that has a lot to do with the fact that I spent all weekend listing. I probably listed 40 things this weekend, which is a lot for me, but it was a lot. So I listed a bunch, and I love that. So I think that's why I sold a lot. I sold one thing on Mercari, and then I have 10 things for, that I sold on eBay. So I'll start with Mercari first. It was these Harley Davidson decals. These I sold for $17 plus shipping. And I'm no money in this. These are something we bought a long, long time ago. And <clears throat> just don't need them anymore. And then the next thing we sold. Oh, one thing I was going to show you in my, because I went um, thrifting yesterday at the Goodwill up in another city that we went to this weekend. Or keep saying weekend. We went to the casino yesterday and the day before, and usually that's a weekend trip. That's why I keep saying weekend. Um, but one thing I had bought, I'm kind of surprised, and I'll show you. It was kind of crazy. But for on eBay, this is the first thing. It's a uh, mixed lot of five fishing lures. Um, this came out of that um, <clears throat> lure haul that I told you about. I'm almost out of these. I need to get some more. They're selling, you know, slowly, not as quick as I thought they would, but... They're not too bad. And I think those were, I think I said I was a dollar eighty, so whatever five times a dollar eighty is is how much I'm in on those. So I've got about a ten dollar profit, something like that. Um this is an underground fence. This is another th second thing I sold on eBay. Sold this for not an underground fence, it's this receiver that goes on the collar. It's for little dogs. This is something that we've had. Um, I bought these a long time ago before we built our fence before the, so the dogs could just run around. So it's for little dogs, eight pounds, and I sold that for, how much did that sell? For $54.89 <clears throat> plus shipping. And then the next thing was this lot of Season's Best Pampered Chef recipe books. Again, this is just something I had in the house. So you know, if you're stuck on things to sell, if you don't have a lot of money or, you know, you just, you're not ready to go out thrifting or not, don't want to go sourcing or to the garage sales or whatever, look around your house. A huge majority of what I have sold so far has been stuff that I've owned. A huge majority of this stuff that I sold yesterday is things that I've owned myself. So um, if you don't think that you have anything clean your house and I mean you know go through your closets and just deep clean and go do I need this have I touched it in a month if I touched it in six months in a year if not sell it you don't need it that's how these are I don't I don't use cookbooks anymore if I need a recipe I just go online um so I just I sold these there's 10 of them there's two of them that have duplicates but I did disclose that but there's 10 books in here and those sold for where is it <clears throat> sorry this is for $7.50 plus shipping that's what I sold those for and then the next thing 
this Mad Gab game. Again, this is something that we just owned. My kids just grew out of it. They don't play it. And that sold for five, <coughs> five, <coughs> excuse me. It's not the, it's not the C word. It's allergies. Um, this sold for five ninety plus shipping. Again, just something that we had. Uh, the next thing was this Black and Decker um, electric <laughs> electric carving knife. I only used this a couple times, probably twelve years ago. I don't know, I, and I think I just used it to cut some foam for a. a a chair that I was refinishing. Excuse me. So this sold for, let's see, $9 plus shipping. I just listed this last week, so that's cool that that, that sold so quickly. Uh, the next thing was this Chesapeake Bay Lavender, Rosemary, and Sage Essential Oil. This came out of the... Uh, bulk.com box so this was nine dollars I think I'm only a dollar eighty and on this nine dollars plus shipping right. stamping up embossing buddy this is something that I've had I don't need I got rid of a bunch of crafting stuff so I'm zero dollars in on that I'm saying zero dollars obviously it cost me something when I bought it but I'm not gonna it's so long ago it doesn't matter um, so I sold that for $4.99 plus shipping and then I thought these were gonna sit for a while I bought I think I showed you guys this on a video I got these at a yard sale last weekend eight vinyl records 45s um, I thought these would sit for a while but these sold for $15.99 and I think I'm only like three dollars in on all of these there's ten of them I think and then this Monopoly handheld Monopoly game I got this at a thrift store um, I think <coughs> this <coughs> excuse me I think this was only $3.99 and this sold for $17 plus shipping and this is actually going to a global <coughs> overseas I don't know where but it's through the um, eBay global shipping and then this Kate Spade purse I'm so excited this sold this is the most expensive thing I've sold so far I got this from um, I got this from shopgoodwill.com sorry I <laughs> a little brain freeze at shopgoodwill.com and I think I picked that up for $14.99 and it sold for $70 that was my full asking price $70 plus shipping and then the last thing that sold and this is a thing that shocked me the most because I just bought it yesterday I thought that it would sit in my store I thought it was kind of interesting um, but and I so I bought it thinking that, you know, maybe I'm going to have to hold on to it for a little bit. It was $1.91 that I paid. I got it at Goodwill. And I put it on um, the thrifters. On Facebook, there's a thrifters and resellers group that you can go on. And I put it up and I said, what the heck is this? And it was, it's this. Oh, there's a fallout. This. I have no idea what this was and somebody said a couple people said oh there's sewing machine cams I go, okay so I listed at that there's no identifying markers on it nothing I don't know what brand it is I just put it up as sewing machine cams for $9.99 yesterday I uploaded the pictures last night at like midnight and it just sold like 30 minutes ago for $9.99 plus shipping so Apparently somebody thought it was pretty cool. Um, so that's all. Let me check how much time. Okay, I'm 10 minutes in. I think I have time to go through what I picked up yesterday. I went to, when we were at the at the casino yesterday, it's just up in, um, not too far from where we live. It's only two hours away. So we went up on 
Wednesday just to kind of, there's so much stuff going on, so much crazy stuff. We just need a break from reality. So we like to go up and just chill and, you know, do a little bit of playing cards because I like to play cards and my husband plays the slots and the next day we were supposed to go home. That was yesterday and I said, ah, let's, or he decided let's, he wanted to stay for a little bit longer. So, um, I didn't want to go play cards during the day. So I went to the Goodwill up there and I liked it. It was so cool. There was so much good stuff in there. Obviously that's where this came from. Um, but so I picked up a few things. I spent $35 <coughs> on everything. <laughs> First thing I got was this Vaco reel. It's a vacuum cleaner, or not vacuum cleaner, record player cleaner. Um, it's, you just plug it in. I, I plugged it in and it works. I'm going to see if I can, okay. um, it works. I, I mean, I heard the motor turning in here. I heard everything. So it, you know, I, the comps, when I did the comps, it looked like it was like $22, $23, something like that, $25 on some of them. So I just listed it $21.99 plus shipping. <clears throat> I bought some soap, some dial soap, um, just because it was on the shelf, and I've seen people do good with soap. I listed that for $6.97 plus shipping, just for three bars of soap. If it doesn't sell, it's no big deal. I'll probably just keep it myself. Um, <clears throat> and then I got this VTech phone. I haven't listed this yet because I haven't been able to check it out, but um, <clears throat> I don't think I've listed it. No, I didn't because I didn't want to unwrap it at the casino. But it looks brand new. I mean, they did open it and tape it back up, but the box looks like it's still in pretty good shape. So I'm hoping when I open this that it'll still be in pretty good shape. When I looked up comps for this, it said like 25 bucks, $25. So that's probably what I'm gonna list it for. And then I found this globe light. And um, this works. I plugged, I took the lampshade off the light in the, in our hotel room, turned, I screwed this in there and it turns on. It's got some scratches on the globe. You know, it's old, it's a blue, <clears throat> blue light, um, but it works. And what I did with that is I took video and then, <laughs> here comes Levi, I took video and I put it on YouTube and then there's a way to embed the video onto your listing. And if you guys want to know how to do that, let me know. I'll show you. It's super easy. So I put that on the listing. And then this Sandalite, Catalyte, Sandal Life Kit. I paid $1.91 for that. And I listed that for $11.97. <laughs> He's come in here to play. And then I found some remote controls. And I tested this one. And if you want to know how to test them, it's really simple. You don't have to even have the right TV. Make sure that the right batteries are in and they work. And then you take your phone turn it on the camera or the video, then you look at your camera at this little thing right here. And then you hit a button. Oh, look, you can see it. See how it's flashing? If it's flashing, then you know that it works. It's hard to see. You can't, like, you can't look at it and see it with the naked eye, but you can see it on the camera. So this one works. So I listed that for $9.99. I didn't check this one because I don't have batteries, so I haven't listed that one yet, but that's for a Vizio. And then I found this <clears throat> Land of the Free, Home of the Brave t-shirt. And there wasn't a lot of comps. I think there was only one. It's not a very high quality t-shirt, but I thought somebody might like it. So I listed it for $5.99. And then I found this is super cute. And I, I might keep this one for myself. Because we always get 4th of July shirts. Look at how cute. There's America. <clears throat> I didn't see anything like it, but I just listed it for $10.99 because it had stars and stripes on it. Hopefully it, that works. 
And then I found another Nightmare Before Christmas thing. Right here, Nightmare Before Christmas t-shirt. This is size extra large. And this one, I, I didn't see comps on it either for this pattern for Jack Skeleton. But other t-shirts that were Nightmare on Elm Street were going for like 15, 16 bucks. So I listed it for 15.99. And then I found a couple other things, and I'll show you in another video. Um, they're bat, bat gammon games. But this is the last thing I'm going to show you tonight, because i got to get Levi to bed. But it's this, you know, not nothing fancy. It's just a little hoodie. like a, I would say it's kind of a swimsuit cover-up. I didn't see but one comp on it, and it wasn't even a sold. But I thought it was cute, so I just got that listed for $17.99. So anyways guys, that's it for today. I hope you and like I hope you enjoyed what I showed you. I was so excited about yesterday. I probably it was probably a three hundred dollar day. That's the most I've ever done this whole time I've been done whole time. The whole ninety days that I've been doing this. Um that's the most I've done. So that was pretty exciting for me. So anyways, I hope that you enjoy this. I hope that I kept it short enough. Tomorrow I'm gonna go do a couple yard sales and then I'll show you what I got there. And that's it. I will talk to you guys later. You have a blessed day. Be safe out there. Uh, just be safe. And I will talk to you guys later. Hit the subscribe button. Hit the like, the thumbs up. That would make me happy. I always love it when I see the thumbs up. Leave me a comment if you want. I love to read the comments. And um, hit the alarm button so you know when I'm doing another video. I will talk to you guys later. Bye.